Unfortunate news, Texans fans. I'm going to let y'all know in just a minute. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Lead. Your host, as always, Harley Dugan. This is The Lead Houston, where it's all Houston all the time. And in front of me, I have an article from Jonathan Alexander. If you don't know Jonathan Alexander, go ahead and check it out. Houston Chronicle. He writes for them. He's got a great Twitter account. He's always there constantly having all kinds of Texans media access content. He does a great job of it. So make sure to go ahead and give him a follow. I'll drop his Twitter down in the description below. <sighs> Jonathan Alexander, by the way, thank y'all. We have surpassed 10,000 subscribers again. Thank you, every single one of y'all that has liked, commented, subscribed. Y'all already know the drill. If you have not subscribed, what are you doing? You are missing out on one of the most passionate Houston sports fans you will find on YouTube. So go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell while you're at it. Go down in that comment section. Let me know how are you feeling about the Houston Texans rumored to be making no moves this trade deadline. Yes, that is the article that I am reading. This is coming from Jonathan Alexander, very well regarded when it comes to uh, Texans content and Texans media access. Uh, he has his he has his stuff. I'm going to say this man has his sources. He's there in the locker rooms, ladies and gentlemen. He's got the access. Title of the article, the Houston Texans are not expected to make a move at the NFL's trade deadline. Here's why. Here we go. The Texans lost to Fawn Diggs two weeks ago. Their offensive line continues to struggle. Some figure they'd be buyers at the NFL's trade deadline. They remain contenders in the AFC, a conference with no dominant team. So why not? I will tell you this. The dominant team is the Kansas City Chiefs. The Kansas City Chiefs are undefeated. Uh, apologies, but... Uh, there's a dominant team right there, and if there is anything more scarier than an undefeated Kansas City Chief team is that the Chiefs could be still hunting for moves this trade deadline. Who knows what happens between now and the deadline, but uh, no dominant team. What are we doing? Undefeated Chiefs team? Defense looks legit, and Patrick Mahomes hasn't played his best football yet? Yeah, that's going to happen sooner or later. Come on now. Texans would be buyers in most situations. Kansas City has made two trades already. Buffalo made one, so did Baltimore. Texans are not likely to be buyers this time around, league sources say, and they definitely won't be sellers. If they do make a move before Tuesday's 3 p.m. deadline, it will be to add depth to certain positions of need. <sighs> this is a quote coming from D'Amico Ryan's uh, Monday when uh, he was asked about him feeling if they needed to make a move at the deadline, D'Amico said, with Nick and his staff, we're always looking to make our team as good as we could possibly be. It's do we have a heightened sense of making a move just to make a move? No, we're always looking to add to our team, add to our depth. That's something we do constantly throughout the year. Look, I'm not excited about this. I don't like this at all. Uh, I think the Houston Texans are missing out on an opportunity to further accentuate themselves uh, into the top upper echelons of teams. And look, I know they're six and three. I know that they beat the Buffalo Bills, who are seven and two, I believe, currently. Um, the Baltimore Ravens are six and three. The Kansas City Chiefs are seven and zero. Oh. So yeah, you're in there. You're obviously a top five AFC team, but it just feels like this offensive line isn't going to figure itself out. And, you know, this was pretty expected. It, it feels expected that the Houston Texans weren't going to make a move and they were just going to settle in what, what they have currently. So what, what they have currently is Laramie Tunsil, Kendrick Green, Juice Scruggs, Jack Mason, and Titus Howard. And what I just named off is – one of the bottom, the one of the bottom five offensive lines in the NFL currently, and it's failing C.J. Stroud. It's failing the offense. It's failing everything in this ecosystem that what was supposed to be a high-powered offense has now fallen into a horrible, unbearable offense to even watch at times. 
the Houston Texans seem to be not me making any moves this trade deadline, according to Jonathan Alexander. Let me know in the comment section how you feel about that. Again, I don't feel good about this. I don't like this at all. I don't like this whatsoever. Uh, I, I need the Texans to make moves. I need the Texans to, to shake something up. I need them to understand that because there is no dominant team, according to the article, because there is no dominant team, that it is anyone's game. And why not place yourself two feet standing upwards into the conversations of the upper echelons of teams into the Kansas City Chiefs? Because as currently constructed, it just doesn't feel like this Texas team is going to go very far. It just doesn't feel like with the offensive line and how the interior has been playing, why is there going to be any improvements? Why is it expected to be better? I we have eight games to the season, nine games into the season, and we're expecting this offensive line to just magically perform better because well, I got on top of the coaching and now everything's going to be all right. I, they're kind of they are who they are now. If the Houston Texans improve in some way, in some fashion, offensive line wise, then yeah, we're a top team in the NFL. Sure, we might be a top five all AFC team. But it doesn't show any hope for me that the Texans are legitimate contenders. They feel like uh, first round exits. They feel like maybe even second round exits, uh, depending on the first round matchup and depending on home field advantage. I'm just I don't like this. I don't like the rumor. I don't like what's going on here. I wish the Texans would be more serious and actually make some trades on this deadline and get themselves a legitimate guard to just plug in at left guard. I, I don't care who it is. It's not like you're breaking up any cohesion whatsoever on this offensive line. So with that being said, the Houston Texans, according to Jonathan M. Alexander from the Houston Chronicle, expected to not make any moves. Sound off in the comments section. Let me know how y'all feeling. As always, guys, go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. You have a blessed day.